Hello, hello. Happy Monday. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna share it. Do my normal little first thing. All right, got it going on there. And happy, happy Monday. How is everyone doing? I might be running just a touch late. <laughs> um, I had to make a stop um, on the way home to the Dollar General so I could get candy for our treat box tonight because I have not had it in the house. I've been trying to be good. So, of course, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So, I grabbed like four bags of <laughs> candy. So, um, so I'm ready just a touch late, but I do have everything ready. So, um, hi, Verna. Hi, Deb. How are y'all? Uh, make sure you comment, make sure you share, and uh, your name will go into the drawing for next week. I do have two winners for this week um, that are from last week's video. And it's Kathy Goldie and it is Melissa Engel. So I will get these two out to you, Kathy. I will save yours um, and do with your, your team prize. So um, I will wait until tomorrow after our team meeting to send yours. Um, but those were it for today and then let me show you what we've got sorry i got an itch um what we've got for next week's or for this week's video all right i'm gonna grab two packs of paper here i'm still trying to get rid of some good stuff here all right so i've got two packs of paper and i will give these away as a prize and then i'm gonna give away um, let's see this ribbon and let's do some paper there as well. I'm almost done with the retired stuff and then I can move on to the new goodies that I've gotten. So, oh Karen, I know cause you like all your, <laughs> you like the treats box stuff like me. You're a 3D, you're a 3D girl. Um, speaking of 3Ds, I posted earlier today on the Facebook page, the sneak peek of October's, I guess it's more like October, November, um, cause we're in October. So it's, I guess it would be November's, um, paper pumpkin. Ooh, y'all, <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Um, I love 3d projects and they're little snowman, um, goodie, goodie bags. And it has like the little plastic bags that go in it. Oh, I cannot wait. So anyway, that's going to be a fun Facebook um, Monday. So, all right, let's get started. So these are the prizes we'll give away next week. So I'm going to set those aside so I don't lose them. All right, let's see what we got here. Don't forget that the clearance rack was updated. I know there's some stuff that has already sold out. So if you want it, you better get it now. Um, and if you spend $50... Let me write this down. Let me see if I can find a, a Sharpie to write this. Or we'll go with a highlighter. All right, so if you spend 50, you get a tutorial bundle from me. There are 17 projects in this tutorial bundle, bundle and I will email it to you tutorial yeah I can't spell um I will email that to you as soon as you place the order so go ahead and do sign you up for Karen I was planning on doing a couple extra because I knew you'd come after me <laughs> um so I will uh I'll make sure I got one on the list for you um so anyway if you shop the clearance track or anything regular stamping up if you spend fifty dollars you get a free tutorial from me and and it's fifty dollars before shipping, before tax. So anybody who places an order for the entire month of October will get it. It is 17 different Halloween projects. So also if you are on my team, you get that tutorial bundle, bundle as well. That will be posted in our team page later tonight. So 
that's a good incentive to join my team as well. So uh, don't forget about that though. All right, the other thing is this kit right here is called Love Santa Tag Kit. I will be doing an email later this week, well, probably next week. I probably won't do it this week, it'll probably be next week, for a class that will be specific to this kit. It will be a lot like the kit we did last year that had, you made tags and then you also made cards to go along with it. Um, originally, I was thinking the cost would be around $35. I haven't fully um, developed the pricing yet on it, so it will not be any more than $35. You'll get a full kit to yourself, and then you'll also get the materials to make probably six cards, um, at least a minimum of six cards. So this will be December the 4th. It will be, I will have it as a Zoom class, as well as it will be, in person. Um, the in person will either be at the church or here in my house. I haven't decided which place. It'll be dependent on how many people sign up. There is a limited number because this kit will probably sell out. So I have pre ordered a whole bunch of them. <laughs> I will not tell you how many, but I have ordered enough of my enough kits that I know like normal people do my classes. So so not to fear on that part of it. Um, so anyway, that will be coming out. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm super excited. I've already started planning the cards. So that will be great. Um, this magazine, don't need to talk about that because that is still in full effect. We are good to go. And I think the last thing is, hold on two seconds. If you are a demonstrator, you can order this Eden's Garden set right here from Stampin' Up. This is a stamp set, well, it's a suite that will be coming out in, oh, hold on. I'm gonna be doing the tag class with you too, so save, I will save you a spot, Karen. Um, so this currently is only available to demonstrators. It will be live for customers in November, um, so you can order it starting on November the 2nd. This is a bundle that will be in the catalog in January. So, it has a stamp set, which is right here, and then it has dies. The dies are really, really pretty. They have some great projects that I've already seen on this, so it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, these, though, are all limited. So once November hits the paper, the paper I showed last week, that is limited. So if you want it, you probably need to make sure that you order it at the beginning of November. If you want to pre-order it, you can also join Stampin' Up! right now for $99. Um, you get $125 worth of products and you can include this in your starter kit. So there is that. And the last thing I have is Seasons Bundle. I am not going to show the cards on this. Um, but this bundle right here is for the club. So this is for October's club. And I think today, uh, let's see, today's the 11th. So the 15th is Friday. So last day to sign up for it is October the 15th. And it uses the Seasons Blessings Bundle from the annual catalog. So it's that basket. And this is a really cute, cute set. So if you're interested in that, make sure you let me know. All right. And I have kicked everyone in my house off of the Wi-Fi. Hey. So <laughs> that was Ben in the background saying thanks. So <laughs> I'm hoping that I don't have the same problems that I did last week. We'll see if that worked or it could have just been... A funky night I don't know so um, it seems to be freezing on my iPad but we'll just keep going until you guys tell me that I'm no longer live how about that all right so that is it so let's get going we're going to start with a card and I did have a blog post it has been posted already um, and so it has the description 
of the, me the measurements for the paper. And then it also has a link for all the products that are used. And that's in the description of this video. So this is gonna be our first card. And let me show you the set that we're using. Frightfully cute. Just so you know, I don't do scary Halloween. I'm not a scary Halloween person at all. I like the cute stuff. <laughs> you can make these owls very scary looking, whatever. You can make the spiders scary looking if you wanted to. But when you add a cute little bow, it doesn't make it scary anymore. So this is kind of what I'm all about. Because, yeah, again, I don't do the scary. Um, the scariest project we're going to make is a 3D. But I don't think it's that um, that scary. So, um, so we'll start with this. Let me show you the dies really quick. The dies are what makes this. So you have the spider web. Let me just take them out. You have the spider web. You have this cute little tree. You have the fence, the hat, the broom, the owl. You've got stars here. And this label right here is amazing. Probably one of my favorite. And then this is pretty cute too. I like that. That would be a good arrow for, you know, any kind of project. And then that label die as well. This right here cuts out the moon, but you could use this to even cut out your sentiments if it's really nicely for your sentiments. So they did a really good job kind of matching your labels with everything because you can even fit it around your witch. Your witch is almost a little too big. And then, of course, your cat and all that. So, anyway, so this is the set. So, let's get started. I won't bore you with everything. I know, Verna. The owls are really, really cute. Really cute. All right. I'm going to give this a good fold. And then, we are going to take... I've done most of the cutting just to kind of save us some time. So this is the glitter, black glitter paper, gorgeous. And all I did was I cut my two owls out the center. Why waste it? Cause it's such a pretty paper. Why waste it when you can just cover it up like that? So that's what I did. So we're gonna grab some stamp and seal and get it. And if I seem like I'm going 50 miles an hour, I feel very jacked up today. I did, I have not had, like, I don't know. I, well, I did have a Diet Coke a little while ago. Shh, don't tell anyone. I'm not supposed to have Diet Coke. Um, but I did have one a little while ago. So that might be why I am all, like, rearing and ready to go today. Okay, we're going to set that there for now. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that when I put this down in the corner that it's not going to go off the paper. So I'm gonna bring it in just a touch more, just to make sure. All right, and then I'm gonna put a glue dot there for it. Thank you for sharing, Deb. All right, so I'm gonna put a glue dot there in the center. I'm actually gonna put two on it just to make sure. You can never have too many glue dots. All right, so then I'm gonna make sure it's not spilling over into the cracks there. All right, and then we're gonna put it right down, okay? Then we're going to take the spider, and I've got it on this stamp rat, so let me take it off real quick. All right, so we're gonna take the spider, and I forgot to grab a block. And then we're gonna ink it up with Memento. I wanna make sure I get it good and inked up. And then we're going to just kind of place it right about there. Ta-da! That's not very straight, but that's okay. The spider's like moving with the wind. <laughs> All right, so. We're gonna set that aside for just a second. And then we're gonna take our bee and our two owls and flip them over. We're gonna put some adhesive on the back of the owl. Just a little, you don't need a lot on it. 
and we're gonna stick, this is crushed curry, we're gonna stick it on the back so that it has the eyes there. So now all we're gonna have to do is we'll have to cut off the um, excess. Okay, so we're gonna take some scissors here and we're just gonna trim And you can trim the bottom pretty good there. All right, and then we'll go up the side here. And ta-da, so there are your eyes. There is no rhyme or reason. I just cut little extra pieces that I had in my scraps folder. All right, one more side. Oh, let's cut that just a touch smaller. There we go. All right, so now we've got our two owls. And then we are going to put, we're going to use black dimensionals. And we're going to put one and one. I used the big ones on my original project, but I've got the minis over here, so I'm just going to use the minis for this. All right, now with my B, I want it to be popped up as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut off the edge of my dimensionals. We're just gonna give it a really thin line for our B. So we'll stick that right there. And then we're gonna do two little ones And they're really, really tiny. You can also use our foam adhesive, but the foam adhesive is white, so I really wanted to use the black dimensionals because I never get to use them. So, all right, so we're gonna put this right here in the corner. And if it's hanging over just a little bit, it will be covered due to the fact that it We'll blend with the B. All right, and then let's do one more little one. All right. And then we're gonna stick it right there on that. Okay, now we're gonna lay these here just to kind of make sure that they fit on there. like that, kind of lay it out. So we're gonna move that up just a little bit so it's not hanging right there with the spider. We're gonna take off the backs. And attach right there. And we're gonna kind of do it in like a, a curve. Or kind of zigzag, whichever one you wanna do. You don't want it to be perfect just because it is a Halloween project. So, all right, so there is our boo. Now, all we need to do for this one is tie our ribbon. And this is my favorite ribbon right now. I love it and I think it goes with everything. And we're gonna tie just a small ribbon. Let's see, let's do there and then there. Might need a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna tie, and we're gonna try to tie it so that it will go flat like that. I probably will not be able to do that live though, just so y'all know. It will be a miracle if I can. Yep, see I'm already, there we go. Let's do it this way. I have to concentrate. All right, <laughs> let's see. Will it, will it work, will it work? Uh, I don't know. Nope, that did not work. All right, let's try it the other way. Let me do it left-handed because I do better left-handed. Because I am a lefty. All right, there is always a difference 
There we go. All right, so now let's make it a little smaller because we don't want it to overpower the rest of the project. We just want it to kind of be there. All right, and then we're gonna make it go how we want it to. I'm gonna still make that just a little smaller. Come on. There we go. Okay, all right, now I'm good with that. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's cut. It has to be perfect, you know? No, it really doesn't. I don't know why I needed it to be, but okay, there we go. Now we're going to take, and we're just going to adhere this straight down to the front. We've got this popped up, so and we've got the bow, so I don't really want to pop it up any more than that. So we're just going to do right onto the front of the cardstock. And to make sure that our pumpkin pie stays onto the cardstock, you know, sometimes that glitter paper gets crazy. We're gonna put adhesive on it. And then we're gonna put this down right there on the front. And I'm gonna flip it over so that I can rub it, make sure it stays right there. And there you go. Now we're gonna do the inside of it, but first I wanted to tell you, if you've never used Stampin' Up! products before, then yes, Deb, the gingham ribbon is the best. And yes, it makes cards. Uh, this card makes me wish I did Halloween cards. Oh, oh good. <laughs> Sorry, my um, iPad froze again, so I can't really. Oh, there we go. Um, it's got a big delay on there. So yes, I know this one is cute. I was I liked this one. Um, anyway, so our glitter paper, if you have not noticed, there is no glitter down here. There is no glitter on my hands. I absolutely love our glitter paper for the sole reason it doesn't go everywhere. So if you've never used glitter paper that doesn't go everywhere, I'm telling you, Stampin' Up's glitter paper will change your life <laughs> because I hate glitter. I hate it with passion. Um, it, I don't like the fact that it ends up everywhere and you sparkle all day long with it. So when Stampin' Up, when I first started Stampin' Up, you did have the glitter paper where it kind of came off a little bit, but now it doesn't. So now I get to be shiny and all of that with my stuff and it doesn't go anywhere. So anyway, um, so that's that. Now we're gonna stamp, I had to make sure. We're gonna stamp our spider again. And we're gonna stamp it up here at the top. I'm gonna try to get it even this time or like straight. We'll see if I can do it. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, and then we need to do our sentiment, which is in the stamp set. No. Oh, my tray's backwards. I was wondering where all my stuff went. <laughs> all right. Let's see. There we go. It was on my second tray, and I could not see. Um, all right, because I had it backwards. All right, let's see if I can get this straight here as well. And go. Eh, a little crooked, but not too bad. Okay, so we will put that on the inside. And then card number one is done. Hey, Miss Yuna. Oh, I'm so glad you like the ones that were on Sunday. Thank you. Okay, so there we go. So cute Halloween, no scary. All right, let's do project number two, which is gonna be another card. And I'm, I'm really excited about this one. This one is for my mother. This is her birthday card. My mother doesn't really watch me. 
Um, she likes all my videos and supports me in, you know, like liking everything for me. Um, but my mother doesn't really watch my videos. So at least I'm hoping she doesn't. She doesn't normally. Of course, today she will because, you know, because <laughs> I'm doing her birthday card. Um, so this is my mom's birthday card. My mom was born on Halloween. So we always joke with her. Um, when we were kids, we have lots of stories of, you know, just crazy things happening when she would like blink at you or whatever. So, um, so we always kind of had joked with her, um, about her birthday being on Halloween. So I wanted to put something fun together for her, but also to put a little witch on it. Cause she always jokes that she'll bring out her broom. So, um, we are going to do this one for her. All right. So we're gonna do basic black cardstock as our base, um, just because you're gonna put black here. So I just went with the black. And we're going to put this paper right here, which is called Cute Halloween. Again, cute, cute, because we do the whole cute thing. And I'm gonna show you some of it. So I'm on pack number two. I've used half of that one. Um, but some of it, is absolutely gorgeous. Some of it's not really my thing, like that's not my side, but this side, really pretty. And then you've got that, which is really pretty as well. Oh, I love that one, I love the polka dots. Um, let's see, and then you've got the boo one and this one, look at that. Yeah, mm-hmm, that one's good. And you've got this one, which has like bats and stuff on it. Um, that's the back side, cats and um, and pumpkins on that one, which that one's cute. I do like that side of that one. So and then you've got just a black. Um, and I think there's a couple more. Let me just look. Oh, here we go. Here's a full sheet of that one. So it's got the bats on there and then the little pumpkins. Um, and then that's the full sheet. Make sure I'm up in the, and you've got orange and black, which that's really good. I like that. And then I love that one as well. So, and then let's see. There's one more, I think. Yep. So you've got the little spooky houses. And then you've got that. So this is probably my least favorite one because I'm not really into all that. But, but anyway, so that is the paper. And it has some really good patterns in it. But I like this one. So we're going to do this. We're going to put it on with liquid glue so that it will stay. And I can make sure that it's on there exactly how it needs to be. All right, line it up, make sure it's in all the corners. All righty, there we go. And then we are going to take some Highland Heather cardstock this cardstock right here, these holes that are cut are using, I'm running out of room, the picture this dies and it's using the circle ones, which I used the, I think I used the circle ones and then I've also used the square ones on a Facebook Live before as well. So um, that is that set. Let me get them back in here. So I don't lose them. All right, so now that we've got that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna um, corner round this end and this end. So we're just gonna use the de uh, detailed trio punch and we're gonna stick it in on the corner round side and then do it on this one as well. And you literally just slide your paper in and you get it to the corner and it does everything else for you. And if you don't get it to the corner, it will, uh, let me see. There we go. It will um, not look right. So then you can fix it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna stick this here just for right now. We've got our hat cut out in per um, Highland Heather. We've got our broom and crushed curry. But now we need to stamp our spider, our witch, and our cat. I went with the cat 
Mom is not a cat person. She's a dog person, but she has to deal with the cat because that's Halloweeny. So, all right. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Vicky. Love this card. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Verna. Okay, so I'm going to put the spider back on here. We're going to take one piece of basic white. I'm going to put this spider right here. And I've got them spaced out pretty good because we're going to cut them out in, um, in just a second. I'm going to move this one down like that. Okay. I'm using the Stamparatus because I want to make sure that it's real dark and solid. And I didn't want to use stays on. So, in order to get the uh, black memento really dark, I know I'm going to need to stamp it a couple of times. Okay. Now, when I put this over, I've got a little spot there. So, I'm not going to push down real, real hard. I'm just going to lightly press on them. Because again, we can re ink it several times. Let's do that witch again, though. There we go. All right. And we're going to do it until it's a really, really solid image. And keeping it in the Stamparatus means that I can do it several times. And it will ink it up in the same exact spot. All right. Just a couple more. I think one more time we should be good. All righty. Yes, I like that. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna let that dry really quick. While that dries, I'm going to stamp our moon. And I like this moon, it's very different. And I like it. Okay. And we are gonna stamp the moon in Highland Heather. Again, to make it fun, instead of scary. <laughs> All right, so ink it up. And then we're gonna stamp it down. I'm gonna hold it there for just a second. Make sure it's real nice and dark. All right. Yep, I'm running out of space again. All right, so we're gonna set that aside. Now what I'm gonna do is, let's see, where's my card? I'm gonna go ahead and stamp our inside piece while that still dries, because I don't want that to um, get ink everywhere. All right, so I stamped this already once, but I'm gonna stamp it again, just kind of here on the inside of my card, just something light. Then I'm going to stamp, you're so sweet, it's scary. All right, and we're gonna do that in Black Memento. We'll stamp that right there in the moon. I hope I'm straight. Good enough. Then we're gonna do happy birthday. My happy birthday is coming from Sweet as a Peach because I absolutely love that font. So, oh, I already have it on the block. There it is. And we're gonna stamp that in Gorgeous Grape so that it matches our moon. We're just going to do it right up underneath. There we go. All right, let me put all the ink up so I don't drop everything in it. And see, look, I already got ink somewhere. <laughs> From somewhere to on there. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this piece on the inside. Because with it being black, you can't write on that. So we're going to flip it over. Put some adhesive on it. Wasn't real straight with that, was I? All right. Stick that on the inside. And then let's now do the rest of our card. Okay, 
We are gonna bring in the um, cut and emboss machine. And make sure I'm in screen here. There we go. And I will apologize in advance for the shaking. So what we're gonna do is cut out all of these with some circle dies. So we're gonna use the layering circles. And let's see, I'm pretty sure that one, yes. So this one will be for the spider. The largest one is for the witch and then the cat. And I don't need all of it, but the majority of it. And this is, I used all three of these so that I could do it all in one pass. All right. So now we have these pieces, if we can get them up. I think that cat, I might have done a little short. We'll figure it out. Okay. So there we go. Oh, and I need to do, I need to do the um, moon. So we'll stick this here and then run this through really quick. All right. And there we go. And we'll move that. And now we'll start to put this together. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna take some liquid adhesive and I'm gonna run it around our circles here. And I'm gonna do it along the stitched part. If I can get the glue to come out. Okay. Let's go to the backup one. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this one will work. Let's see, there we go. I'm doing a very, very thin line of glue. It does not need to be a lot, just enough to kind of hold it on there for now. Okay, so now this one is gonna be the spider. So I'm gonna flip this over. Actually, that one is gonna be the cat. So we're gonna flip this over and we're gonna adhere it like that. Ugh. I need to press down harder. Hold on. I was trying not to make a mess. So we'll pull in this. So now we can do this. All right. There we go. All right, so now let's do our big one, which is gonna be for our witch. And we'll go around a thin line. And then we're gonna lay our witch down here and kind of put her in the center like that. And you'll see she's poking out, but we'll cut all that off, don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, and then one more, we're gonna do the spider. And this one, we really wanna make sure that we get right along the edge because the circle, the white circle, is literally just gonna go barely around. All right. Almost there. All right, and we're gonna turn it over we're gonna attach it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna flip that over. I'm gonna let it dry. And I will check the comments while I do that. Hey everyone, whoever is coming in, I see some names popping in, so hi. Thank you for joining tonight. Um, if you share and comment on the video, um, you can be entered in for a drawing for next week. So make sure you do that. Anybody who's in the U.S., I can send um, products to you in the U.S. So, all right, I think that's good. I think we'll be fine. So I'm gonna trim off this now. 
right there. And then that's it, okay? So now we're ready with this and we're going to take some dimensionals. Put that in there. And we're gonna start putting them all over the back. And we wanna put some extra ones on our little pieces here, our white pieces, our white circles, to make sure that those stay. And to make sure that our circles that won't have anything in it, those don't fall. I'm gonna put some dimensionals around those. All right, let's do one there and one there. Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> I think that's a lot. And then we're gonna stick this on the front of our card. And then I have another, I don't know who else's birthday is in October that I could send this card to, but I'm sure I can find someone, right? If you have a birthday in, I'm gonna trim off that right there. If you have a birthday in October, cause I only need one for my mom. I can't give her the same one two years in a row. You know, that's just crazy. Um, so if you have a birthday in October, let me know and I'll be happy to send you this card. All right, we're gonna put this on our front and we're gonna um, kind of scoot it closer to the opening of our card. And the reason for that is I really want that boo to kind of show over there as well. All right, so there we go. And now you've got three little circles here that just shows the boo and then you've got your other pieces there. All right, this one will kind of get covered up when we go to put this on. So I'm gonna bring this back in. We're gonna lay this flat onto our front of our card. Oops. We're gonna kinda do it with the bubbles kinda there. All right, so we've got that. Then we're gonna take many dimensionals there. We're gonna go ahead and just use the black ones. I think they'll be fine. So we want one there and one there. And then just one on the broom bottom. Okay, we'll put the broom right here and then we'll put the hat next to it. Kind of like that. There we go. And then all we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of ribbon to it. I taped it down because it kept coming unraveled. <laughs> So um, that was my way to keep it staying. All right, I don't really want a big bow on this one. Oh, this is using the um, Pets one. Oh, I just drew a blank on what it's called. Pet something. Um, it's in the description of the video. If you click on, or no, the blog post. If you go to the blog post, it's on there. All right, so we're gonna do a glue dot, something pets, pets something. But it comes with two, it comes with this and then it comes with a red and it's really pretty. I've actually used both of the ribbons from that set multiple times. And then we're gonna stick that kind of there and then we'll cut our tails off. There we go. And then, oh, let's add our stars. We wanna add the stars, cause that makes it too. These are the uh, Cute Star Adhesive Back Sequence. You've got, um, I wanna say that is Highland Heather that's in there. And then you've got Pumpkin Pie, and then you've got black. And I'm gonna put the black ones on here so that it doesn't kind of mesh in with, um, the Highland Heather that I also might be a uh, fresh freesia. I'm not sure. Oh, but Deb, I will totally send you a happy late birthday card. <laughs> Actually, you know, you say that I really need to get back to sending birthday cards to everyone at Dulcie. I stopped about two years ago and I need to get back to it. So I'll start with yours. How about that? All right. So 
We're gonna add a few in here. We're gonna do five, just cause I like adding five. I think it's a good number. All right. Okay, so there we go. There is card number two. And it is a happy birthday one. So it's not scary. It's so cute, it's not scary. <laughs> All right. So let's do the last one. This one is probably the scariest one of them all. Um, and it is a little treat box. So it's a tombstone, um, but I put a bow on it. So when you put a bow on something, it just makes it cute, right? I mean, it doesn't matter that it's tombstones in the background. It's cute because it has a bow. So let's do that one. And I have to pick up my ribbon because I threw it off the tray a second ago. All right. So we are going to put it together. I have cut out a lot of this stuff already. Um, one thing I do want to show you, these are treat boxes that Stampin' Up! has. So you have, you have a whole pack here and it comes with eight. So you get eight in a pack. You can create eight boxes with each pack. Okay, now in the pack, you're gonna notice that they all look the same, but there's one difference. And that is one is slightly smaller than the other. Okay, so that's at the bottom and you can tell it's skinnier here and then it's shorter here. Okay, that's how you know which pieces to pull from. You're gonna pull on all, I mean, you're gonna fold on all of the score lines it's actually pretty easy to put together. Okay. Then you're going to take off your adhesive here. You're going to fold in your side and you're going to fold in your other side. And then you're going to pull that side up and then fold over. Okay. So then that adhesive is sticking on the inside. So it gives it a smooth look on the inside. Then the same thing. Your two long sides, you'll pull in for your two tabs like that. And then for your short side, you just wrap it right around, okay? You do the same thing with the other side or the other, the other part, the other lid, I guess. All right. And then we'll take off the adhesive and do it again. It does not take very long to put these together at all. Unless of course you do the wrong sides. <laughs> I might have put it together wrong the first time because I didn't realize there were two sides to it. And then it just, the, the larger one fits just right on over like that. And then there's your box, okay? And then that one that slides down over, that's gonna be your top, okay? I don't have anything in here, but I wanna show you. What all fits. So I did go to the Dollar General and got some candy. And so you've got M&Ms that fit down in there and you can still put even more. Look, it's like crazy how much you can put in here. I mean, that's three pieces, that's a lot. And then also you have, um, let's see. You have some Reese Ghost. These are little ghosts. And you can fit a bunch of these down in here. Look at that. So, good size. Your smaller pieces, you can fit a lot in. Your larger pieces, you can still fit quite a few in there. So no one would go, you know, crazy if they got one of these boxes with candy filled in it, you know? So that is that. So we're gonna leave those in there and hide those from my husband. Shh. <laughs> Reese's are one of his favorite as well as mine. All right, so we're gonna put some in this one as well. It almost takes a whole bag just between the two. All right, so there we go. Now let's go ahead and start constructing our box. I mean, um, the rest of our, our top piece. That's enough about candy, right? 
All right. That's the good candy. Oh, Kathy, yes it is. I have never been a person to not get the good stuff. <laughs> Even when I was in college, I would start buying at the beginning of October so that I could have the good stuff because I did not like getting the bad candy when I was younger. So I decided as an adult, I was always gonna have the good stuff. Always, always and forever. <laughs> All right, and then I always, of course, buy an extra bag for myself, but no one needs to know that, right? <laughs> All right, so what we want to do first is we want to take a blending brush. Now, I don't have a new Stampin' Up! blending brush for black yet, so I'm just going to use my old one. We're going to take some black memento. We're going to get some, um, some ink on there, and then we're just going to kind of rub it in. I want it to be solid, okay? And this is probably where I got my ink all over myself. Um, we're gonna go up to probably about right here, so I need just a little bit more. Okay, so that is solid black. And then we're gonna move all that out the way. We're gonna let that kind of um, sit there. We're gonna stamp our sentiment, which just says, Happy Halloween to you. I'm gonna do it at an angle. I know that's wasting a lot of paper and I'm sorry, but I can't remember if that length will give me my whole label there. So we're gonna do it like that. All right, now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna do my moon and I'm gonna show you how I did this. So I'm gonna take Daffodil Delight. First, I'm gonna clean my stamp because we have gorgeous grape on it. We're gonna ink it up with Daffodil Delight. We're gonna set that aside. We're gonna bring in Melon Mambo. No, Melon Mambo. That's pink, by the way, Melon Mambo is. We're gonna bring in Mango Melody. <laughs> Good goodness, that was crazy. All right, we're gonna take a dauber. We're gonna ink it, we're gonna put some ink on it. And then we are going to just add some of the Mango Melody, I don't know why I can't remember that right now, to there. Then we're gonna stamp this down on our basic white piece of paper. And there you go. If you don't like it, you can always um, do it a little different. I think I'm gonna ink up, I think I'm gonna do it one more time. I don't really like that. I'm gonna do okay let's see if I like this one better if I don't it won't matter because we're gonna go with it oh yeah okay I like that one better all right now I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the pieces we're gonna move all that aside for right now I'm gonna bring in the scan and cut machine again. Make sure I'm in the screen. And then we're going to use our circle. And then we're gonna use our label, our long skinny label. and then we will run this through. All right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is bring this back in. We're gonna bring in all our little pieces here 
And then I have cut out the everything else already, okay? So what I want to do is I wanna put our tombstones here first. So I cut out two of these, which I only really need one. And I'm gonna show you what, what I cut out with. So I cut this one out with our, what I'm calling an arrow, it's a tag, but it's an arrow. And we're gonna put adhesive on the back of that. And we're just gonna put it right about here. We're gonna just make sure it's straight. Okay. Then we're gonna take this one right here and we're gonna cut off the bottom. And I want it to be a little shorter than that one. So we're gonna cut it right about here. And then we're gonna just put it there, okay? Then we're gonna take a um, fence and I cut this out of the glimmer, black glimmer paper. And this is the fence. When you do it with the black, um, when you do the fence, the best way to do it is to use our adhesive sheets and then you run it through. When you run it through, run it through a couple times, but it will cut because this is a good, this is a good die. It did really well. Um, I went through like once, twice, and then maybe a third, and it cut it really nicely. So, um, so now it's just a sticker for me. And now I can lay it right across our tombstones just like that. And then I'm gonna take the tree and I cut the trees from Cinnamon Cider. Oh, this for the tombstone is the cute Halloween paper. It was that solid black one. And then we're gonna take, and I turned the trees into stickers as well. But I need to, okay. Yep. All right, and then we're just gonna lay this one right here. just like that. Then we're gonna cut this one, probably about the same spot. Let's see, it's actually gonna be a little shorter, okay. We're gonna cut that one. Then, and that one is used in the label die that we just used. This one right here, this is this label. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut up, I'm gonna grab large scissors. I'm gonna cut straight down here. And I'm gonna flip it over and cut straight down there. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna adhere that right about there. I'm gonna cut off just a little bit of the bottom too. We don't need it that tall. All right, so then we will stick that one right about there. And then we will stick this one right there, right about there. Okay, all right. Then, oh, I forgot the tree behind it. All right, let's put the tree in. We're gonna put another tree and we're just gonna slide this down behind it anyway. Okay, all right. Then we are going to, oh, and I forgot the tree behind that one too. Good gracious. Leave it to me, right? All right. We're gonna stick this one right there. I need to go down just a little bit more. Okay, I'm not gonna press that all the way down yet because I want to put the moon behind it. So we're gonna put some adhesive in the corner and it's gonna hang off a little bit. Actually, I need to put it on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna stick that right about there and then we're gonna press it all down like that, and then we need to add our fence to this side, 
me get all the trash out the way. And again, I ran it through so it becomes a sticker for me. So we'll take that right off. And then we're gonna adhere this across there. And I don't care that that's all crazy like because that's usually how it looks. We're gonna put dimensionals on this and I need to see if I have so many ones. Yep, here we go. We're gonna put three mini ones across there. And there we go. And then we're gonna tie a bow and make it cute. And this is the Gingham Bumblebee Ribbon. And I know I didn't use Bumblebee, but it all blends very well. All right, let's get that straight. There we go. All right, so we're gonna tie a little bow. And you could always make it, you know, less scary if you wanted to, but um, you know, you could not put the tombstones on there, but I kind of figured it's a tombstone um, packaging. So we'll put a glue dot on there. And then stick that right there on the end and ta-da! We got to put on our stars and then we are done. And that is all three projects for today. Hold on, I have to find the stars again. Hmm. Well, I don't know where my stars went. Oh, oh, here they are. Here they are. I found them. Okay, we're gonna do the, um, pumpkin pie looking ones. I'm pretty sure those are pumpkin pie. And we're gonna do three at the top. And we're gonna do the tiny ones. Perfect, all right, there we go. So that is the last project for tonight. Let me clean up my area here and Cause you know, I spend like 45 minutes after Facebook for, um, Facebook Fridays, Facebook Mondays. I don't know why Friday in my head, um, cleaning all of it up. All right. And then here is our first one. All righty. I think they're all in there. Okay. Thank you all for joining me tonight. If you have any questions, let me know. Description of the prop, um, of the projects or in the description of this video, <clears throat> you can click and go straight to my blog post, which will give you the dimensions of the cardstock. And then it will give you a, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> then it will give you a click here and you can click on there and it'll give you all the products that I used. So you can literally go straight to the online store and purchase. But um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And thanks for joining me. And I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to comment and share so that you can get into the prizes for next week. See you guys later. Bye.